Time for another quick thoughts on the episode that premiered last weekend, this time The Lost Treasure of Griffinstone. And we get to see griffins again! The last time we saw them was at the uh, Equestrian Games, I think was the episode, where we saw a griffin team competing. But in this episode, we actually get to see Gilda again, who hasn't been in the show since Season 1, Episode 5. So about 94 episodes ago. And I do like that they acknowledge that Rainbow Dash and Gilda really aren't friends anymore. But but they sort of make up in this episode, since it turns out Griffinstone isn't a very friendly town. Nobody's friends here. And when they were showing the lore of the Griffinstone Kingdom, I immediately thought to the Hobbit. I was thinking while watching it, okay, I gotta talk to Saber about this because the Griffins are exactly like the dwarves from the Hobbit. They even have the treasure like the Arkenstone where if they have that, then they think they can you know, have a rightful kingdom again. So I thought that was pretty neat. It's ni nice to have little references like that in the show. Though technically this isn't really a little reference, it's kind of a big one because it's, you know, basically dwarves. And Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash are called to the town because they're the only ones called to the town from the map. Rainbow Dash thinks she needs to get the treasure so that way they can have a rightful ruler again. Or not rightful ruler, I'm not sure if there was anybody there that was a rightful ruler. I guess it's just they just need it there for consistency. And Pinkie Pie thinks that they just need to know how to have friendship. Well, not exactly. She says that she needs to fix the scones that Gilda is making, because apparently she hasn't been using baking powder, so they taste terrible. And when I say the griffins are like the dwarves, I mean they're exactly like the dwarves. They're greedy and everything, and they just want, you know, gold and stuff. But Pinky shows Gilda to share her scones with a, a friend or acquaintance, she says, or like somebody that she just knows, but she doesn't call her her friend, so they can actually start developing, you know, friendships and, you know, relationships within the town. So they really only just plant, you know, the seed of, you know, sharing and, I guess, friendship. If there's anything I'd say I dislike about this episode is that it, the pacing felt very fast. It felt like it was over just like that. I'm not sure if that's just a condition that I was watching it in because I think I was doing something else while I was watching it. That must have been it because there were a couple of flashbacks to Gilda and Rainbow Dash back when they were uh, little kids. And I enjoyed that. I enjoyed seeing Gilda as a, a little griffin. The other thing I noticed is that um, Pinkie Pie has sort of been breaking the fourth wall a little too often this season, which I don't mind when she breaks the fourth wall, but I do mind when she looks directly into the camera. Which, that's really just a pet peeve of mine. I don't like it when characters do that in cartoons when they, you know, directly look at the camera and acknowledge the audience. I kind of like more subtle ways of breaking the fourth wall, but again, that's really just a pet peeve of mine. So, that's really all I have to say about the episode. I did really enjoy it, but next time we have a big episode coming up. I'm not going to give away the synopsis because I know people don't like some spoilers, but it's going to be interesting what they come up with. So if you saw this episode that I just talked about, tell me what you thought of in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Like soldiers in the middle of a campaign, growing hardened to discomfort and better able to